During the Thanksgiving holiday week, a survey and exploration expedition was conducted in Carlsbad Cavern. We had a variety of objectives including pushing and mapping new leads, resurveying some areas with bad data and sketch notes, and improving fixed rigging. Areas of focus were in the Guadalupe Room, New Mexico Room, Chocolate High, Big Room, and left-hand tunnel sections of the cave. The surveyed length of Carlsbad Cavern at the start of the expedition was just over 38 miles, making it the 15th longest cave in the U.S. It was recently surpassed by Fort Stanton Cave, which is now just over 40 miles. Many of the same cavers are involved in both projects, and there is a little friendly competition as the two caves keep leapfrogging each other as they both move up the long cave list. One of the primary areas we are working in is the New Mexico Room, which is accessed by taking the elevator and leaving the tourist trail at the Green Lake Room. Reaching the New Mexico Room involves using a few fixed ladders and negotiating a couple of easy short ropes. Teams visited the New Mexico Room almost every day during this year's expedition, fixing problems with the 25-year-old survey and pushing leads in the Ranger Room and Western Lower Maze, which is a boneyard complex under the New Mexico Room. The Guadalupe Room Complex contains nearly 8 miles of surveyed passage and lies under the main corridor. To reach this area, we walk in from the natural entrance and follow the route used for the ranger-led Hall of the White Giant caving tour. Most of our survey involved mopping up short side passages just off the main flag travel route. We found a going lead at the southern edge of the area with strong airflow, but ran out of time to push it. The lead is almost directly under the natural entrance, but 120 feet below the paved tourist trail. The strong airflow suggests a connection that will be investigated on a future expedition. You're a dirty girl. <laughs> <laughs>
that's the down of the right down the right bridge. Chocolate High contains more than two miles of surveyed passages and is reached by climbing nearly 300 feet of rope out of the New Mexico room. These ropes climb a fissure known as the Chocolate Drop, which has the most technically demanding vertical caving anywhere in Carlsbad Cavern. The area is extremely well decorated and contains some spectacular snake dancer halectites. surveyed over 6,500 feet during the week, bringing the total surveyed length of Carlsbad Cavern to 39.5 miles. Competition to be among the 10 longest caves in the U.S. is heating up. Several caves have very recently surpassed the 40-mile mark, including Fort Stanton, Double Bopper, Blue Spring, Binkley's, and the Great Savannah Cave System. Carlsbad Cavern is poised to join these caves in the near future.